<laughs> These guys. They're my bane, I can tell you that. He's up above me, so I can't get him. There we go. Hey everybody, Ridley Fox here. So I came back over to the first planes we were at. And I thought, since we're going to be going after Yaglis soon, we're going to go find him. I want to get some stone to try and fortify our walls. At least make it, you know, two stones deep. Because we're going to be getting some stronger raids, I'm sure. And I think I read somewhere that you can mine the bottom of these stones and then the whole thing will collapse and you'll get a whole bunch of stone. So I thought we'd give it a try. Never done it. Something we can do together. And I remembered that one of the Loxes had already taken a chunk out of this one. Save a little work, maybe. So let's see what happens. I'm sure it'll fall. Might take some time to get it all back to base. <laughs> Hopefully it won't just fall on us and kill us. I hear a mosquito. Where did it go? <laughs> now I'm imagining them. They are awful. Keep an eye on these loxes. I need to get some more of them. Make some more locks pie. getting close. <laughs> I tell you what, these warriors really got put to work by Odin. <laughs> uh oh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> I don't want to fight you right now, buddy. I will. I don't think I can do melee with him. These guys. I was not bothering you at all. I'm making too much noise. Oh! Thought he hit me. Ah, oh, I needed some lock snake. Hopefully he won't kill me. He might. These guys. I love these flowers. I keep saying that, but they're so pretty. Look at 
that rock. This time that <laughs> not a stamina. Yeah, that's good. Hopefully that other one won't attack us right away. Alright, this should be it right here, huh? See if the whole thing falls. Oh my gosh, look at that. I'm already full. A lot of stuff. Oh, he's chasing me. to see when you're looking at the inside of his head. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna have some lox pie. I was gonna leave you alone. Stamina up. Ooh. Oh, you got me. I'm out of arrows? Oh no! <laughs> I have no stamina. <laughs> Alright, let me get my health up. Ooh, he almost got me. Can't believe I used all my arrows. <laughs> I about died big time there. Oh my gosh. I'll just have to come back for this. That was fun. I thought I had plenty of arrows, but I'm not sure how many I had. We'll get some more. It's expensive. Making all these arrows. I gotta go get some more feathers. We are going to put this up in our boxes, all the stone. And then we'll go back and get some more. Let me put this stuff up. I'm gonna run. 
come back over there and we're going to get some more stone. I don't know if I said this earlier, but another thing I want to do is a little fishing. Because I want to make some more fish wraps. And I have to have cooked fish for that. So I always turn off my um, pool already. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm already full, just from... Well, not quite. Oh, it's too much. That's why I didn't pick them up. That is a good way to get a lot of stone. Yeah, I lost my train of thought on the fishing. So if you've never seen anybody fish, I can show you the basics. It's kind of fun. I, I mean, I like doing it. It is. It can be time consuming. But if you've got time, you're just relaxing. Fishing's kind of fun. And you can fish in every biome. Mm, the rain's here. I mean, that was pretty quick, the amount of stone we got. We're just hitting the base of it a few times. Yeah, so once we get all this stone, we'll go ahead and start on the second layer of the wall of the base. I'll feel a little better if we do it before we fight Yaglith. I can't imagine what the raid will be like from the Mistlands. I don't know anything about the Mistlands. I mean, I know very minimal. I'm thinking about one day just hanging out at the base and putting raids on high and just waiting for some raids to see what we get. I'm sure we'll get a variety, you know, from the different biomes. I think that could be fun. But I'd kind of like to upgrade it a bit. Use those iron beams to support the roof. And make the walls that I use to hide behind stone. Not too much. That way, uh, they'll be less likely to get broken if we're having one of the higher biome raids. I think we have maybe one more trip. I always turn and pick up 
off at the base just because I don't want to pick up my tame food. You know, you go near it and the food gets picked up. And then they're hungry all the time. So that's why I do it. Pick up this uh, meat. Hannibal likes the meat. But not that lox meat. I'm not giving him that. All the stone. Might as well grab this while we're here. I don't want to come back. I really want to do the second layer on the sides of the base that are near the fighting area because. It does seem like the creatures always come to where I'm at. I'm not too concerned about the side on the water or down near the water. Of course, you know, I might regret that, but I think it's more important to get the fighting spot sides of the base done. He's a short timer. He, he likes to get in the corners. I, I think he must like shiny things because he's hanging around this money. He's my guard pig. That's what he is. And here's Hannibal. Come to greet me. See, he always greets me. <laughs> Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Um, I am going to... Go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll do some repairs on the wall. Alright, let's put this up. Where did I put that other lock in it? There it is. Carry that note. All right, let's go outside. Let's see if we can start our work on the wall. Yeah, you know, let me get some resin and I'll fill up those torches so it's a little brighter until the sun comes up. So I'm just going to put another layer on here. I've been debating on just putting the big one on there. Since we already have the small ones behind it, it'll go a lot quicker. Put those up. Even though they can break a lot quicker. That's the problem. Hmm. Maybe I could use this, and then if I need another layer, I could use the small ones. We'll do that. It doesn't work. We can always patch, you know, if they get through. 
I need a stone cutter. Let me go this way. I had to move that. What is that? That's, that's the stone cutter. Oh, that's on top of this chest. All right, let me put that back. And I already have a stone cutter right there. Let me put this over here so we've got some coverage on this side. I don't know why it's sinking down like that unless it's the ground's not level. Under their space under there. It's blue though. It looks like it's off the ground. Let's stagger those. Where we can, you know. be too high. Let's see, is it kind of coming down? Let me use this one up here. Oh, I'm out of stone. <laughs> we might get a raid. Could be good or could be bad, you know? careful when you put the stone down because it just wants to do weird things with the snapping. That doesn't look right.
I'll feel better having this up, you know. You know, they may not be able to break in so easily. I already have a layer of stone on the other side of this. That's why I'm not too worried about that. Let's see here. It's looking better, I think. It looks like I need to put something under here, you know? There, it's not supported. It's not like it's doing anything. Let me try that over. Yeah, it's trying to... All that looks like it's not even on the ground, but it is blue. So it's like it thinks it is. I guess I'll leave it like that. See what I'm doing here. Oh, I'm out of stone. <laughs> it's coming along pretty quick. I'm glad we were able to get all that stone. And I did have some in here already. I don't know if there's any down in the bottom. I don't want it like that. Let's see here, we want to kind of stagger it. I can see two there. gonna bring it down here.
Yeah, I think this will be a lot stronger now. Oh, I'm out of stone. I think that's about all we're going to be able to do right now. There's the long ship. I don't think y'all have seen that yet, have you? Yeah, so there's my little carve and my long ship. So I just keep them here. And I've got that little wall there to try and hide visibility, you know. And I don't think I've had anything come over here to tear them up. I've done pretty well so far. I do come over once in a while and repair them, you know, because they get deteriorated, I think, with the waves and stuff. Alright, let me go get my fishing pole. And we'll see if we can go fishing. And then we can make some fish wraps. Then here, where is it? We got bait. We got that from the trader. I actually have two fishing poles. I think I got one. I found it in a house or something when I was out exploring one day. So I don't know if we have a good fishing spot here or not, but we'll see. You need to find a spot where you can see the fish swimming around. Yeah, so there's some over there. You just equip it. Let's see if I can remember. I haven't done it in a while. You don't want to throw it out too far because it uses all your stamina. Like, and it will go pretty quickly. You kind of want to left click to bring it. Oh, to, you do. <laughs> so you left click to cast it and you can hold it down longer to have it go out farther. Now when they hit it, you right click and you keep it held down and you just reel it in and it's a good idea to back away from the water because it will drop off if you run out of stamina and it will go back in the water and you'll lose it but if you're lucky and you get it over land and it drops on land you can just pick it up And you can just cook these on the, uh, you know, you use the cauldron to make your fish, you know, your fish fillets. And then you use your cooking station to cook them. And then you can use that in the fish wrap recipe. There's a fish over there. Come on. Oh, I didn't want it. And in each biome, you have to use bait for that biome. So like for the Black Forest, you can make some bait from the troll heads and then use that bait. I can't use this bait over there. Aren't you hungry? I'll have to find another fishing spot. over here and see if we'll go for it. Mm -mm, I don't think he's hungry. Let's go see if we can find another spot that's better. Just look farther down. We might find some fish down here. And if we don't, we'll come back in the morning.
All right, I'm gonna try it over here. It's getting dark. We are running out of daylight. There's a fish. Come on, fishy. I mean, it's kind of like real fishing where you're sitting here for hours sometimes trying to get fish. <laughs> relaxing actually to do this definitely back away and don't cast far out not when you're a beginner fisherman because you won't catch anything Got another one, hopefully. Don't come off. See, I lost him. I bet I could pick him up because he's on the ground. Otherwise, he'd just go back in the water if he didn't do that. coming up. Tide's coming up, I should say. Can't tell if it's gone down or not. No, I don't think it has. That may be all we're going to get. Well, I think that's good for now. It's getting too dark to see. Yeah, so we've got several fish. Three fish. Four fish. I'm happy with that. We'll get a few fish fillets and I can make some fish wraps. I'm going to eat that and the bread and the lox pies when we fight Yagla. Yeah, I might need to go work on my skills a little bit, too, because getting killed a few times recently, I've lost some of my skills. I think I am... Um, 32 swords. That's good. Blocking, I could bring that up a little bit. My bows have gotten better. They're not as bad as I thought they were. I must have already gotten them up a little bit. Maybe just bring up my blocking a little bit. And I've got to get some feathers, too, so I can make more arrows. What's been going on down here? Who's over there? Hmm. But he's causing trouble on my land. Yeah. Skeletons. Let's 
two in the morning, I think. I think I have some more stones still in my inside storage boxes. And we'll use some of that and we'll start trying to upgrade our defensive spot a little bit. So I'm going to empty my bags and... Well, no, let me um, do the fish wraps and I'll show it to you. Inventory full. Make some, some room. So we use the cauldron to make the raw fish. Oh, I double click it. And then we just cook it on here. Let's see, what do we need for the fish wrap? Just the barley flour. How come I don't have what I need? Let's see here. Oh, you need two cooked fish? Did it not pick up? Oh, it's cooking my necktail first. Oh, I didn't realize that's what was on there. And the boar meat, I think. That's funny. I wish you could do something to have it not do that. You know, have an order of the food that you want to go on to the cook fire. Then you could prevent that from happening. Alright. Well, we've got some cooked necktail. Alright, now we're gonna have some fish. Am I the only one that does that kind of thing? I bet y'all do too. I need a chair here so I can sit down while I'm waiting. Okay, we should have enough now, okay. So here's the fish wraps. 70 health and 23 stamina. That's pretty good. See, I can make one more. So we have nine of these now. I might want to go fishing a little bit more and make some more. I have plenty of lox pie, I think, and I have 15 bread, so that's plenty of food. Just make one or two more. I mean, that's probably enough. I don't ever go through that much food, I don't think, when we're fighting. All right, so I'm going to go to sleep, and in the morning we'll work on our fighting spot. that up. I don't need to be carrying that around. I really need some more boxes, I think. <laughs> Let me put this fishing pole up. Alright, so... Yeah, see, I got all this. I'm not sure what I need. Let's see what I need for the iron beams. the wood iron beam. So I need some iron and just wood. Um, 
Let me come back for that. See that I've got that wolf meat in my bag now? That's because I have auto pickup on. And that's Hannibal Spooky. need a stone cutter. Not sure. So I was going to make these stone. I need what? The stone cutter. Let me go move it closer. Over here in case we get a raid I don't want it to be in the way all right so This might make it hard to get in here. I might just do half of this one. This is kind of tight. I think it'll block me and I won't be able to get in if I do the whole thing. Of course, you know, putting this on both sides takes away my coverage, doesn't it? Because I can't get in here anymore to hide. That's not going to work. Not on these. Hmm. I wonder if I should just... maybe put some iron beams on these to try and support them. Or, or double it, maybe put two of them back to back, put another one on here. I might need to do that. But see, I can't get out of, like I can kind of get out of it here. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna use the stone here. I don't, I don't like it. I think I'm just going to get some more wood and then try and double it and that will make it a lot more durable. Let's try it. Hopefully it won't take up too much space. Uh, let's see here. Try it over here. I may not be able to. If I could do it on the outside. Let's try this. Will that snap? I think it went lower, but it's still on there. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I put another one down there. It's kind of hard to do with all those spikes there, you know, because I have to destroy them just to get up to the lower wall but I really don't need it as much on that lower wall because this is all solid stone that I'm standing on I'm just gonna worry about these 
and see. Come on. You can you can squeeze in there. I don't want to do that. All right, let me try what I just did. Let's see if I can reach it this way. I guess it's some protection. It's a little extra. Might be enough. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I think that'll work. It'll help. Alright. Next time I do one of these, I need to make them a little bigger and deeper this way so we can do stone walls without losing, you know, my little hidey spot. Let me go get the iron, and we'll do some beams for the top area. And I'm talking about the wood iron beams. They're supposed to be pretty strong. Let's put this stone up for now. This iron's too heavy. Okay, let me put a little bit back. I have some wood in here, don't I? If I need it. A little bit. Yeah, I'm glad we've got this doubled. I think that's going to be a good thing. Alright, let's see what we have. I need a forge. Of course. We've got one over here. carrying too much, of course. They want you to use all this heavy stuff. But you can't carry it. <laughs> Alright, let me throw some down. Oh, let me just make the forge, right? Let me, um... Almost made it. Is that gonna be enough? Yeah. All right, so I'm not really sure. Let's see here. Let's 
Is the forest not covering this area? I'm too far from it. Did I make the wrong thing? <laughs> That's why I made the workbench. <laughs> I'm so used to making that. All right. <laughs> Did y'all see that? Not tell me. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Now let's see if we can make the beams. Um, if I can find them. These should make it a lot stronger, right? Um, I think I'll just do... I think those are 26 degree... Is that what they are? Yeah. I sh should be able to just do it over that, right? I don't think I need to take out the other one. Oh, I wish they had a longer one. Oh, where did that one go? I don't know where it went. I need more wood. I might need to get some more iron. So that's going to make this roof a lot more invulnerable to getting destroyed really quickly. I mean, they, they might take out the tiles, but the whole thing may not fall apart. I really should just put some inside this core wood, too. But I'm going to need to get more iron, I think. I don't know if I have enough for that. We'll go back and see. I can probably grab another stack. All right, so should probably I'm not sure where that's lining up at, you know. can't tell if that's connected or not. Yeah. Oh, I need some iron. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, I've got some wood in here too, so that's good. I do like how I put these Excess down here. I kind of like how that looks. Okay, I have 23 left. Hopefully that will be enough. And then we'll be out. see here. I wonder if I should do that. That might be sticking out. I don't know. That's the whole roof done. 
And we've got along there and around. So I think we need to try and go put one there. I need some more wood. Nope. Got some over here. wood. I need to put stone along here and make a nice path. Keep forgetting to do it. All right, let's see if we can do this way. I think it goes inside the core wood, yeah. Makes it hard to see what you're doing, though. Oh, I'm out of iron. I'm gonna have to get some more iron before I can finish this. But I think it's stronger now. And that'll be good for when we do have a raid. So I tell you what, I'm gonna hang around here. I might log out and bump up the raids so it's at the highest level and see if we can get a couple raids. But I'll wait till morning because it's getting dark now. And I'll bring you back. Here we are. We're getting a raid. Let's see where this is. I don't know how well everything's going to hold up with these guys. Shaman over there. I can't get him off. Ooh, let's get this berserker. I think they're gonna destroy all these stakes, that's for sure. Look at him. Those guys are so crazy. Pretty solid stone structure I'm on, so I don't think I quit moving. The shaman. I don't think I can kill the shaman while he's got his bubble up. Oh, he got me on that one. I think I have any of my fire protection potion. Got him that time. Got that shaman. I want to get the berserker. He keeps moving around. Oh, there's another one. Got him. See, they can't reach me. I wonder if he's going to take away this, um, wall, you know, that I'm standing on.
I got you. And I get some stamina. Here, okay. I think it's over. That went pretty well, I think. Oh, there's one there. Where'd he go? Oh, he's over here. Okay. And everybody? Wow, I think that went pretty well. They took out all the stakes. Let's see, can I repair this? Look, he did do damage to this wall. I have to go get the uh, stone cutter. This one's still good that I'm standing on. That one's good. But because it's like double layered here, you know, two stones together, one behind it and that one. I mean, if he took that out, it wouldn't fall. I'd still be okay. Wow, I think that went pretty good. Finally got a goblin raid. You know, I ended up having to use cheat commands to call one in because I've been sitting here forever and all I got was the skeleton surprise, which I've had multiple times. And I was really wanting to show you the ones from the plains biome. So that's how it was. We got some shamans, we got some berserkers, all the fuelings, and the fighting spot did hold up pretty well, I think. So I hope you enjoyed the raid, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. I know I did, and I will see you next time. Later, later.